Hi everyone, on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily transform this image into this image using Photoshop. Well, it may seem like there's a lot of steps involved, but once you've done it a few times, creating this effect won't take you more than a few minutes from start to finish. To create this photo manipulation technique, we'll be using a couple of adjustment layers, some keyboard shortcuts, the brush tool, and a layer mask. I'll be using Photoshop CC 2018 for this tutorial, but any version of Photoshop will work. And here's the final result that we'll be creating. So, let's get started. Okay, first, let's open up our image in Photoshop. I'm gonna duplicate this layer 1 by hitting Ctrl J on my keyboard or Command J for Mac. By hitting Ctrl J on your keyboard, you will be duplicating whatever it is you have selected. Now I'm going to change the name of this layer by double clicking on it and type layer 2. Well this will help me identify a layer from the rest of the other layers. Next, while layer 2 is still highlighted or selected, gonna go to edit menu, transform, then click on the flip horizontal command so that the image will be flipped. So as you can see, I'm going to use this whole side of the apple to cover up the image below it. Now let's lower the opacity of layer 2 into 67% for us to be able to see the image below. Then, we're gonna nudge this layer slowly to the right by hitting the right arrow key on the keyboard. We need to align the edges of the two layers so that it will look like one image. For me to be able to see the whole canvas, I'm gonna zoom out the canvas by hitting Ctrl- minus on my keyboard or Command- minus on Mac. Now I will rotate layer to image so that it will align perfectly above layer 1. Like this. Now hit enter or just click this check icon to apply the changes. While layer 2 is still selected, we're gonna add a layer mask on it by clicking on this icon below the layers panel. And this is the indicator that the layer mask was applied to this layer. Hitting the letter D on your keyboard will set your foreground and background color into default color, while hitting X will make you switch from foreground to background color. I'll set it into black. Next, I'll try to brush this area using the brush tool. So I will hit B on my keyboard or just click on this icon in the tools panel to activate the brush tool. I will then set the brush hardness into 0% to make it soft edges. Then after that, Click on this area to collapse the brush option. Now to adjust the brush teeth of the brush, you may hit the left and the right bracket on your keyboard. I will now try to brush on this area to reveal the image below. Like so. Now you need to brush every single details of this image. On top of this, including this little thing out here. That's right. Now I will try to set the opacity of the layer 2 back into 100%. I will try to brush on this area once again. Now it's perfect. I will then click on the move tool 
I will try to nudge this layer 2 slowly to the left by hitting the left arrow key on my keyboard. Ok now it's perfect. Now we'll try to brush some details out here. Ok. It's good. Now it looks perfect. Next, I will add an adjustment layer on top of this. We'll choose Hue and Saturation to change the color of the apple from green to red. I will click on this Hue slider and drag this towards left. And you will see the color changes as you drag. I'll head on to negative 88 value for this image. Okay, that's good. Looks perfect. So that's all guys. Hope you like my video. See you again for my next video tutorial for the Train the Trainer course. Goodbye.